when sketching graphs, um, there's something important I want to show you. Um, suppose you, you you want to um, sketch this graph here. When 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 x is small, it wants to follow this uh, x squared. So when x is small, it wants to do this. The the, the little uh, x x uh, x squared curve. And when when x is big, it will follow it will follow this. So well, it wants when x is big, it wants to do this. Um, it wants to do this this thing here through the origin. How through it wants to do something like this through the origin. But but because well, you've got to compromise. So so you've got to join up the two. So it would do something like this. And then maybe a, a little curve somewhere like this. And then well, uh, so so your graph will look roughly like this. But what happens when you start sticking a number a a, a coefficient? Uh, in, in front of the the x squared. So suppose you 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 put a seven in here. What would happen? Well, because because you've got this seven in front of the x squared here, it it, it magnifies this uh, this it magnifies the behavior of the x squared. So so it, it gives it a bit of boost to the x squared the x squared's um, attribute, if you like. So so it becomes bigger. So so. So, um, so your graph will now look something like this, okay? And uh, suppose you stick a number that uh, that's smaller than seven. If if you have a number that's smaller than than seven, let's say three, well, it still gives it a boost, the the x squared boost, but but not as much. Maybe maybe to uh, to somewhere around here. Maybe town. Maybe to somewhere around here. Just not as much as uh, so. So maybe it, it will look something like this. Okay, so so hang on. So if if you have something like um, uh, y equals x uh, to the power of three, uh, what y equals x to the power of three, and then um, uh, say plus five x squared. Well, normally the x squared will look something like this, but because you've got a um, a five in front of it, it it will give the the x squared a boost. It will, it will extend its uh, its personality, if you like. Um, it, it will give it well. It will be bigger. And then it will occur, it will start behaving like like x to the power of three, okay? Um, and if if you um, if you uh, if you have something like this, hang on, if you if you stick a number, let's say a seven in front of the uh, the x to the power of three, then then you're giving this uh, this x to the power of three a boost, a, a bigger personality. So normally x squared will look something like this, but because you've got a a seven in front of in front of the x to the power of three. Well, it's going to. Well, don't forget, you've got the um, the x to the power of three personality going like this, okay? But because you you've magnified this uh, this personality here, it's going to eat away the the curly bit, the x squared in the middle. So so if, if you have a, a uh, something like this, it will look. It, well, normally x squared will look something like this, okay? Normally like this. But because you've got the you're giving a boost to to this thing here. It's going to eat into that behavior. So maybe it still it still has that x squared personality, but but it's going to eat into it. So so your your curve will look something like like oh, well it's going to look something like this. Hang on, it's going to look something like this. There's still a curve there, but a a tiny amount because because you've given some extra power to um to to this. This term here, you've given it a boost by sticking a seven. You've magnified this this behavior, x to the power of three behavior. So so when you when you stick say uh, an eight here, you you are giving this, you you are magnifying the behavior of this. So normally normally without the eight, it would look like say like this, x to the power of three. Uh, sorry, x squared. Now because you stick because you um you stick a um, an eight in front of it, you are giving it an extra boost. So, so you're you're extending it. It's per, you're extending its personality. So it's it's going to be bigger. But then, then when when x is is getting bigger, then it, then it will adopt the uh, the x to the power of three. Maybe well, may maybe something like this. Well, remember we are this curve here. We are just guessing where it curves. You need you need to know calculus in order to know exactly where it curves. So, so my the point of this um, this video is that if if you if you stick a, a number in front of this, then then you're giving the, a, a bigger boost to the personality of x squared. If you um, if you stick a number in front of this, um, you are giving an extra boost to this thing here. Okay, so so hang on, let, let, let me show you this here, right there. 
So here, th this is your your uh, your x uh, x to the power three plus x squared. You see, there's there's an x squared personality right there. It's really small. It's really small. Now now here we're going to stick a two in front of the x squared. So look at this here. You see, it, it extends the um, the x squared personality. It's it, it's um, it's extending it. it the curve. The um, the U shape is getting bigger. Now look what happens if we stick a, a three in front uh, a three in front of the x squared. The the personality of x squared will get even bigger. So look at this here. See it, it extends it. So it starts uh, curling somewhere around here. But the you can see the x squared is getting bigger and bigger. Look what happens when you when you um, when you have uh, a, a four in front of it. It gets even bigger. So 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 when when you um, when when you st start sticking numbers in front of the well, you you, you are just extending their their with that their the feature, okay? If, if you well anyway, I think you get the idea. So um yeah okay.